Okay, and that actually cut off there. So again, where I was starting off before. I always tell you and everyone else take care of you, etc., etc. I'm sharing how I feel, and I still support you even if we disagree. Hope you're having a good day. That was... When was that? March 7th. So then the hardcore uh, manipulation stuff started as far as, like, Phil's out to get me, all this other stuff. So March 21st comes around. Hey, Phil, just curious if and when you have a plan to pay me back. Please let me know when you can. Hope you are doing well. And I said, no plans when just yet, but I have mentioned and stated and even brought up in prior conversations that I still plan to do so. To which, if I recall correctly, I was told each time to take my time, no rush, by yourself. Correct. I'm just asking you for an update because I may need the help coming up soon. Any ideas of a possible timeline? Thanks. I don't know just yet, which is why that hasn't come up. Okay, well, please let me know when you can. Thanks. And after that, I was blocked. That is the final conversation that I have with Joyce Sparkle's bullshit, otherwise known as Katie Marie Space. Or Katie Marie Smith. Okay? And I get really tired of this shit, guys. Because as you saw in the very beginning of the, be of the video, we already covered that, and the fact that it was actually supposed to be a donation, and then she turned around and changed her mind apparently later, and I actually worked with it. Okay, fine, whatever. But all the guilt trips, all the emotions, all that stuff, all the lying to her fans, all the lying to people about me, constantly starting throwing shade towards my stream, uh, low-key behind the scenes to her inner circle, having people try to bait me and accuse me of things, you got a lot of nerve. So you know what? It's out. It is out in the open. And now I'm just going to refer to anybody to this monster of a video, which I didn't God, it's been a lot. That's a, that's a long. That's a long video. But there's just no easy way to say it. There's so much stuff here regarding this situation that it is what it is. It's not about what I believe. It's not about what she believes. It is what is there, and this is her own words. I could sit here and tell you things all day long, but what I say is irrelevant compared to the words that I show on this screen from her, from her lips. From there, you come to your own conclusions. If you've read it by now, and you still think that she, she, and you still worship the ground that she walks on, then quite frankly, nothing I am going to say is going to change your mind. And that's just how it is. But to anybody else that goes around believing these lies that she's telling about me, here it is, here's the truth. I did not walk away because of advice. I walked away because you're a pathological liar that couldn't respect me enough to treat 10 years of friendship well enough to be straight with me. And after I called you on it, you tried to manipulate me consistently. Knowing that I know very well what manipulation is, knowing that I've seen these types of people year after year after year and I've just cut them loose because I'm done with the toxic and the crazy, and then trying to guilt trip me on top of that. That's where I draw the line. And guys, I want to say this again. If this is how she treats somebody that she's known for a decade, don't be under the illusions that she's going to treat you better. You've known her for a few months, if that. What, a month? Two months? Three months? In a month, I went from being the nice guy that's always done so much for her for to I'm judging her and I'm evil and I'm this and I'm that. That's all it took was a month just by asking, que by questioning her and confronting her with her bullshit. You can have all the fake joy and all the pretty sparkles, but bullshit is still bullshit. <coughs> no matter how you sell it to your audience. And stop telling people that you don't know sales and marketing you did, or not sales and marketing, that you don't know social media because you did sales and marketing for years. Social media is kind of a staple. Again, obvious lies. This is what pisses people off. This is what pisses me off. You keep saying these obvious lies, and they're easy to kind of pull up and go, uh, no, you lied. No, you lied again. Hold on, you lied again. Hold on, this is why I walked. This is how you treated me. And then when confronted with it, 
you treated me poorly on top of that. And then when you didn't get your little way, you turned around and demonized me behind my back thinking it wouldn't get to me. And you treated other people like shit who did bring it to my attention whenever you found out. That's someone that knows she's doing wrong and doesn't want to be caught. That is a parasite. That is someone that is in need of psychological help. But it is not someone that I want to be friends with in any regard, in any way, shape, or form. For all the stuff you claim to be against, you are a total hypocrite. And I genuinely feel sorry for you, but I tried to be nice about this. I tried to let you off with a warning. I warned you multiple times that I was going to clear the air on this. You start this shit, I will finish it. Do you want me to go digging back through stuff? Because I can't. Do you want me to go digging back through all the files and just releasing shit? shit? Because that's what you accuse me of, of, having this folder with all of your shit that I'm just releasing one by one by one, like I'm methodically out to get you. No, that's shit that you do. That is shit that you do. I just pull it all out in the open like this. This regards me, so fine, here it is. And now I'm confronting you with your own words. You are a pathological liar, that is not an accusation. Your own words prove it. Other people have seen it, other people are saying the same thing. And you can blame their credibility so much. But, when the message is still consistent, it rings true. It is one thing to say that I am full of shit. It is another thing to prove me right. Your own words. You do this to yourself. The choices we make dictate the life that we lead. Actions have consequences. You fucked up. You lied. You were not straight with me, and you weren't straight with why I left. And then you lied about the GoFundMe just to milk sympathy from your inner circle. I'm done with you. Stay the fuck out of my life. And don't talk shit about me ever again. Now, anybody that brings shit, that brings up shit to me, I can just link up the video and be done with it. I am done with the crazy. Ah, <sighs> sorry about the length, guys. I want to do other vids other than this, but at some point, something's got to be said. I am just tired of the lies. I am tired of the spin. I am tired of emotional manipulation. I'm just tired of it. And I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not playing around anymore. And I told you, Katie, I told you, very matter-of-factly, that the moment you started this shit up again, that's it. No more second chances. Congratulations, you screwed over the one person that was legitimately on your side and frequently went to bat for you. I hope you're happy with yourself, and I hope that it was worth it. I hope it was worth it, needing that much of a distraction, needing that much negative detention to fulfill whatever the fuck is wrong with you. Because you know what you're doing is wrong, and you know what you're doing is hurting people, and you legitimately, despite your posturing, do not care. You are everything that you claim to be against. And I'm done with you. I am now clearing the... Now this is cleared. The air is cleared. And, uh... Yeah. That's that. Have a nice life. Good luck with the remainder of the train wreck. And I sincerely hope it doesn't bite you in the ass about as much as it looks like it's going to. I'm done. You can demonize somebody else and take your excuses elsewhere.